Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw a holiday hamster, so let's get started. To draw this cute hamster, let's start by drawing its eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a circle. And I'm going to come right over, about right here, and draw another circle. So just leaving enough space in the center for a nose. And let's come in here and make them draw so cute eyes. So I'm going to come in here with two small circles for highlights. And a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. Same thing over here. there the eyes in now let's come in between the eyes and about right here I'm going to draw a little curve for his nose right in the center and then connect it with a widen out V and then let's come in the center of this nose right here and we're going to draw a small little line straight down and then we're going to curl up two curves on each side There, you can cap it off. And so then let's come over this eye. I'm just going to draw a small curve above this eye. And not this one yet because we have to hat right over the eye. Okay, so then now that we have it, let's um, done the eyes. Let's come about, let's say right here. I'm just going to imagine a hat over our little hamster here. So I'm going to start about right here. Give myself a point. And I'm going to draw a curve that comes really close to that eye. So it's really close to this eye. And I'm going to start to bring this down more. And so about the same amount of space that you're giving on this side, give it to this side too. And about right there in this area. I'm going to start right here and draw an ear. So come out with a curve, a little small hamster ear. I'm going to come inside right here with another curve and then connect this one. From there we're going to start to draw the hat. So let's come back right up here and bring in the curve. So just take a look at how much space you've given on this side. That's about the same amount of space on this side that you're going to give. So about right there, I'll start to bring it in and up. And I'm going to curve this around so that I can bring this all together with a curve for our hat. So let's bring this up and come around and connect it. Then from there, let's start to draw the top of the hat. So about right here, I'm going to go up. And about right here, go up as well. And we're going to meet in the center. So about right there, I'm going to start to draw the poof ball. So I'm just going to come in here with a bunch of curves. Some big, some smaller to create this circle. There. And can come in here some smaller ones just to add some texture. So now that we have the hat in, let's start to draw the body. So I'm going to come right here. I'm going to continue this curve and I'm just going to draw a small little curve on that side. And on this side, I'm going to draw it longer. So I'm going to start the body on this side a little bit more. And the reason is because I'm using a Sharpie and I can't erase. So I know there's a candy cane right here. But if you're using a pencil, go ahead and finish off this body and then add the candy cane over it. But um, I'm going to start bringing this down since I'm using the Sharpie. And I'm just going to imagine this coming through. So I'm just going to give myself some space and say about right here. I'll start again. And I'm going to pop this out a little bit more. Nice and round at the bottom. And then before I finish that, let's come back up. So I kind of, like I said, there's a candy cane right here. So I'm going to come in about under the eye in this area. I'm going to draw the hand. So I'm going to come about right here and just draw a curve. 
right under the eye, round it off, her paw, and bring it in. And then come in here with two small curves for some detail. And then on this side, so the other hand, so about right here, right under the eye as well, another curve. And then two little curves right here for the paw again. And so then now we can go ahead and um, let's start with our candy cane. So I've given myself this little space right here. So I'm going to angle really close to the ear. I'm going to start with an angle about right here. And I'm going to angle my candy cane in. So whatever space you have left, just finish that. And it's going to be about that thick. So I'm just going to follow that line about right there. And then let's draw the top of our candy cane. So I'm going to come right here and draw a tighter curve. Comes down. And now it's going to start to curl up. And this part is going to be as thick as this part. So just remember to come about that much. And I'm going to start to curve up. Coming back to here. So now that we have the top of the candy cane in, let's start to finish the body of the um, hamster. So I'm going to start to bring this in. Round it off at the bottom. And about right there, I'm going to start to bring it in to connect. And once again, because I know this candy cane is going to be coming down this way, I'm just going to give myself some space right here. But I want to know kind of how long my hamster is going to be, how tall he's going to be before I figure out how long this candy cane is going to go. So now that I have this space in, let's finish our candy cane. Imagine this being overlap coming through. And trying my best to stay with the same angle. And I'm just going to bring this past this area. So same thing over here. If you need to turn your paper, please do. It's just easier on your hand to draw this line. Okay, so about right there, I'm going to turn around it off and connect it. And then I can go ahead and finish this body right here for our hamster. There. <laughs> okay, and then let's come to this side where we draw a little foot, little feet right here, so curve. And come back in. And so on this side, just maybe you won't really be able to see it, so, but maybe a little bit. I'm just going to give a little indication right there. So it all depends on where your candy cane falls, whether or not you need to draw a foot or not. Okay, so then from there, let's finish this part off. And let's see. And let's draw some details on this candy cane. So I'm going to give it some um, stripes. So I'm just coming in here with some angles, some curves. From there, let's come in here and give a little detail. So right under the arm, I'm going to come right here, just draw a curve in. And right here as well, so on this side. So about right here, just bring in a curve. And just finish it off. And I'm going to add a little heart right here. So now it's my draw so cute ha holiday hamster. So there, I hope you love this cute little holiday hamster that I've drawn for you and it inspires you to draw it too. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.